you know, unless you squint, any database system will spend 10% or less on actually executing your transaction. The rest of the 90% is in four very large pie slices. The first one is buffer pool overhead, which is you've got to get a record out of the buffer pool. When you're done modifying it, you've got to put it back. Oracle has had a main memory database system called Times 10 that they've been selling. It is a main memory database system, so there is no buffer pool. That slice of the pie is gone. However, they continue to use row level locking. They continue to have an Aries style write ahead log, and they continue to be multi-threaded, which means they have this latching problem. If you get rid of one slice of the pie, which is what uh, times 10 has done, you go about 30% faster because the other three slices are still there and become the high pole in the 10. If you get rid of two of the slices of pie, you basically go twice as fast. Three of the four slices and you go four times as fast. And if you can get rid of all four slices of the pie, you go 25 times faster. It's an obvious no-brainer that if you're going to build a purpose-built database system, you've got to get rid of all four slices of the pie. First one is you've got to get rid of the buffer pool. Any main memory database system will do that. Any disk-based database system is going to lose. Now let's turn to latches. A DBMS has lots of shared data structures, uh, and they're just insidiously everywhere. Run single-threaded code, and that's exactly what VoltDB does. It is not multi-threaded. Now let's turn to doing crash recovery. We take asynchronous transaction consistent checkpoints, and then we realize that if you're gonna log the data, that will be way too slow. So what we do instead is we log just the transaction that you ran. And we do group commit so that uh, we uh, do this as infrequently as possible. So it costs you a few percent to, to actually do crash recovery, but it doesn't cost you very much. If you do standard data logging, then it costs you about 50%. And that's because the slice of the pie, uh, it becomes a big problem uh, when it's the only slice of the pie that's remaining. What's the last slice of the pie? Well, that's concurrency control. No one who's written main memory database systems uses row level dynamic blocking. It is too slow. Uh, Multi-version concurrency control is popular. Timestamp ordering is popular. The thing to note is no one is using dynamic blocking. Net net, we go about 100x faster than the elephants on this class of problems. If you care about performance and you want a factor of 100, come see us.